Hello. My name is Emily Wagner and I work for Let's Grow Kids. Let's Grow Kids is a nonprofit organization and our mission is to achieve high quality childcare for all of Vermont's children by 2025. Though I work mostly with adults now, my career started out working with very young children. And as soon as my work is done with Let's Grow Kids in 2025, I plan on returning to the early childhood field. I love working with young children because it is fun, rewarding, and allows me to be creative. Today I'm here to tell you about the early childhood field, the careers within the, what it's like working with young children, the careers within the field, and the pathways to those careers. Most people think, that learning begins when a child enters kindergarten. But science has shown that learning begins long before kindergarten. Babies and young children are experiencing the world for the first time and are very curious about it, making early educators brain builders and play specialists. Though their brains are not fully formed when they are born, babies come into the world ready to learn. A brain grows by creating neurological connections. Babies and young children up to three years old grow an astonishing one million new neural connections every second. These neurons are created as a growing child experiences the world through touch, sound, sight, taste, and smell. By age five, the brain has grown 90, has done 90% of its growing that it needs to do to be an adult brain. Very young children are doing enormous amounts of growing and early educators are there shaping and building their brains. My interest in this field began when I was in middle school. I took a babysitting certification course and had a list of families that relied on me for occasional care on the evenings and weekends. From this I learned I really liked being around young children. I decided I wanted to be a teacher. As I learned about being a teacher, I discovered that early edu educators are not only brain builders, they're play specialists. A baby's brain gains neurological connections as they play. This means that a lot of an early educator's time is spent playing, singing songs, building with blocks, and making shapes with Play-Doh. Depending on a child's age, play can look very different. A baby will play with a block by moving it from one hand to another, while a four-year-old will create a block tower, along with a very long and detailed story about the tower. An early educator is a play specialist in that they are trained to look at how a child is playing and make plans for other kinds of play that will help the child's growth. While learning about language, people, and things happens through play, an early educator also teaches personal care through play, such as how to get dressed, how to eat, or how to wash hands. Additionally, an early educator also teaches social and emotional skills, such as learning to be friends and identifying feelings. The science on child development has shown that before a child can successfully learn academics, reading, writing, and math, a child needs to learn personal care and social and emotional skills. A typical daily schedule might include free choice or pretend play, circle time with songs, rhymes, or dances, snack time, a walk or outdoor play, a story time, lunch, rest time, and more free play. Play can be free choice or pretend play, which is child directed, but it can also be planned, which is teacher directed, such as having children sit at a table and play with paint or Play-Doh. As a play specialist, teachers will plan activities based upon children's developmental needs. If they know some children have a hard time picking up small objects, a teacher might plan an activity where children pick up dried beans. This gives them the practice they need to get better at picking up small objects. There are many career levels within the early childhood field. The Vermont Association for the Education of Young Children, also known as VITACI, is the Vermont branch of the National Association for the Education of Young Children, also known as NACI. NACI and VITACI provide early educators with a network of support as, long, as well as educational opportunities. 
The TAC has an excellent webpage that describes each position and educational pathways within the early childhood field. As, long, as with a lot of careers, like nursing, most people enter the field at a low level and work their way up to higher positions. In Vermont, there are two kinds of childcare, family childcare homes and center-based childcare. There are many similarities between family childcare and center-based childcare, but there are also many differences. And each type of care suits the individual needs of early educators and families. Family childcare homes are small businesses operated out of a person's home. Being a family childcare provider means working with children of mixed ages between six weeks and 12 years old, either on your own or with an assistant, as well as being your own boss and operating your own business. Center-based childcare can either be a private business or a nonprofit serving larger groups of children. Children are often, though not always, divided into groups based on their age, babies, toddlers, and preschoolers. Each classroom has a lead teacher and at least one or two assistants or, or associate teachers. The whole program will be managed by a director, and depending on the size of the program, there may be an assistant director. Within family childcare homes, center-based childcare programs and public schools are preschool programs. Preschool programs are for children three to five years old and are led by a licensed teacher. Going to preschool helps children get ready for kindergarten. There are many opportunities for advancement within the early childhood field. Most early educators enter the field as associates or assistants and continue their education to become teachers, directors, or specialists within the field. Childcare and early education careers are essential to helping parents get to work and preparing children to go to school and life beyond. Patesi is an excellent resource to find what education, educational programs to help you attain the skills you need for a career. Let's look at their webpage together. At the top, they have these categories for recommended education. The tabs are high school plus training, associate's degree, bachelor's degree, master's degree. If I click on a degree, say associate's degree, I can see which careers fit within an associate's degree. If I click on read more, I can see a job description, skills and competencies, as well as preferred qualifications. Below all of these career types are the colleges, universities, and organizations that offer degrees um, or educational opportunities within the field. These uh, are hyperlinked, so you can go straight to the Community College of Vermont, for example, and see all of the information about their early childhood education program. A great start, starting point to the, getting in the field is to become a certified babysitter through programs such as Safe Sitter or Red Cross. Both programs focus on safety and first aid, as well as life and business skills. There are training sites for both programs across Vermont and online. They are also relatively low cost. Other ways to try out working with young children is to volunteer at a local childcare program, or take a job as an after-school uh, teacher or summer, counsel summer camp counselor. Job shadows are another way to, to learn about the daily work of an early educator. Once in high school, your local career and technical education training center can help you access experience and required coursework. These programs are awesome to take while you're in high school because they often include dual enrollment, 
which means you can earn college credits for taking the course in high school. This means you will be prepared to enter the field as an assistant teacher, as well as, as having a start on collecting the credits for an associate's or bachelor's degree. Vitesi has additional resources to help you in the field. Currently, there are scholarships for completing your associate's degree or the child care apprenticeship program at CCV. This is a growing field and there are many resources along to help you along the way locally and statewide. Early childhood education is a field filled with fun careers that allow you to be creative, active, and nurturing. There are many ways to see if this career is right for you and I encourage you to try some out. As you learn more about the field, Batesi is the best resource to find the pathway to the career that's right for you. Young children are eager to share their daily discoveries with the adults in their world. It is so fun to see them experience things for the first time, to watch them practice and develop mastery. Working with young children is always exciting because for them, so much of the world is new. It's a career where you can laugh, play, and get lots of hugs every day. Thank you so much.